Welcome to Global Perspectives. The Goldilocks economy is making a comeback. After fourth quarter concerns about being too hot gave way to a first quarter economy that was way too cold, we find ourselves in a place that feels just about right. The just about right includes U.S. corporate profits that will likely and unexpectedly deliver a positive year-over-year -year growth for the first quarter. While reports on manufacturing, consumers, and housing have been fair to good, bond yields among Europe's periphery are at record lows, though this has more to do with the looming threat of deflation and the possibility that the ECB will introduce quantitative easing than a robust economic renaissance on the continent. Meanwhile, the contribution of emerging markets to global growth trumps that of the U.S. Those structural concerns about the developing economies persist. And while aggression on the Ukrainian border is cause for concern, Russia has more to lose from the standoff than the U.S. or Germany. As we said, conditions overall are pretty lukewarm, but lukewarm seems just about enough to move markets forward that is also notably absent any systemic crisis. In fact, positive asset class performance has been widespread this year. Only small caps, which have been hurt by the rotation from momentum stocks to names with more attractive valuations, are negative for 2014. Given the pessimistic attitude that continues to dominate investor psyches in asset allocations, however, there is a lot of fallow cash on the sidelines. The re-emerging Goldilocks economic scenario could spark this dry tinder and propel the market higher, or it could just fizzle out. While the consensus seems to be excessively positioned for the latter, we recommend a normal allocation for investors that are geared toward building wealth while maintaining prudent risk control, as fundamentals suggest that the biggest risk to the current market is to the upside. I'm Doug Cote, and that was this month's Global Perspectives.